See, there are problems in our elections, and it's important to remember. We saw many of them in the 2020 election. We saw suitcases pulled out. This country, we haven't had half as many hearings about guns as we've had on voting rights. And every time we seemingly have a hearing on voting rights, we're talking about the fact that people are cheating. So let's talk about who's cheating. I got a few articles. Uh, are you familiar with the fact that there was recently a settlement with this uh, little news company called Fox News? <laughs> Okay, because Georgia purged 87,000. Will the gentlewoman oh, yield? Not, I think I Georgia not, matters. I will not yield. I am reclaiming my time. God, the only time you'd want a camera on Marjorie Taylor Greene and they miss it. Republicans want to discuss voting integrity. So next up, Harvey Weinstein will hold a hearing on HR practices. Shell will hold a hearing on climate change. And Trump will discuss values in the Bible. Well, Actually, I kind of want to see that last one because we all remember this. Okay. You mentioned the Bible. You've been talking about how it's your favorite book. And you said, I think last night in Iowa, some people are surprised that you say that. I'm wondering what one or two of your most favored Bible uh, verses are well, and why. I, I wouldn't want to get into it because to me that's very personal. You know, when I talk about the Bible, it's very personal. So I don't want to get into there's verses. No, there's I don't no want to get into it. There's no, no I, verse I, that means I a lot to you that you think about or cite. The, the Bible means a lot to me, but I don't want to get into specifics. Even to cite a verse that no. No, like. I don't want to do that. You're I mean, an Old okay. Testament guy or a New Testament guy? Uh, probably equal. Yes, that's right. The party of the big lie, whose current front runner in 2024 still believes that he won the 2020 election. They want to lecture the other side on election integrity. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, let me begin. Uh, Mr. Cuccinelli, did Joe Biden win the 2020 presidential election? Well, he's the president today, so yes. Yes, he did win the election. Mr. Speed. <laughs> Is that, that's your answer? He did win the election. He's the president today, so yes, he won the election. Well, the question of whether or not it's the president and the question of whether or not he won the election are actually two different questions. In your opinion, did he win the election? Uh, he uh, is the president today, and he got the, and he, it's because he won that election, yes. Well, why wouldn't we go back to the system of having as many people as possible vote in person? or if they are in a nursing home, have members of both parties watch that person fill it out so we know that person is filling out and we know that person isn't being coached. And as you can imagine, this went as well as Marjorie Taylor Greene teaching geography. If I'm coming from China or Africa or whatever country in the world. First up was fast rising Democratic star Jasmine Crockett, who not only outlined the blatant hypocrisy, but managed to throw in some Fox News receipts for good measure. This country, we haven't had half as many hearings about guns as we've had on voting rights. And every time we seemingly have a hearing on voting rights, we're talking about the fact that people are cheating. So let's talk about who's cheating. I got a few articles. Uh, are you familiar with the fact that there was recently a settlement with this uh, little news company called Fox News? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, that was for about 780 something million dollars. Was it because they were lying about the, the elections? Yes, it was for a... Um, okay, there we go. I'm running out of time, so I'm going to keep going. Uh, there also was this article, because I don't want us to base anything on Georgia at all. Please, Jesus, not Georgia. Okay, because Georgia purged 87,000... Will the gentlewoman yield? Not, I think I Georgia not, matters. I will not yield. I am reclaiming my time. All right, so there were 87,000 people that were purged that were legitimate voters. So, no, we don't want a copy off of Georgia. Um, also, another GOP voter admits he committed fraud... Another one in Pennsylvania, man who admits he voted for Trump with his dead mom's name because he listened to too much propaganda. The general lady's time has expired. And Representative Crockett was not the only one who took issue with the party of conspiracy theories holding a hearing on integrity. Jamie Raskin, of course, got in on the act. Ms. Weiser, um, we just went through the unprecedented agony of a president of the United States trying to overthrow a presidential election, trying to get the vice president of the United States to step outside of his constitutional role and to declare the president who lost uh, the victor in the election. Uh, we heard people uh, not far from here chanting, hang Mike Pence, hang Mike Pence, driving him out of the body. There was an attempt to substitute the loser for winner in a presidential election. We experienced a violent insurrection. There have been hundreds of convictions. Uh, people have just been convicted of seditious conspiracy, which means conspiracy to overthrow the government. 
And now, um, instead of dealing with that reality, which poses a serious threat to the union, a dagger pointed at the throat of the United States of America, instead our colleagues come forward uh, with legislation to try to impose a photo ID on local elections in the District of Columbia. Do you see something as um, uh, strange or perverse about this response to the actual threats to democracy in America? Thank you for your question. Um, I do agree that the ASAC does not address these critical threats that are urgent and that Congress needs to address um, as quickly as possible heading into federal elections um, and um, instead focuses on actually rolling back voting rights solely in the District of Columbia. I right, thank you. I yield back, Mr. Chairman. The gentleman yields back. The gentleman. And he was followed by AOC. You know, I want to be clear about uh, what is happening here. The D.C. City Council has passed and enacted a number of pro-voting policies to increase voting accessibility and to protect the right to vote. Now, what we are seeing here introduced by the other side of the aisle um, is to pass legislations that would, legislation that would strip the D.C. government and its residents of their ability to determine the rules that govern their elections. So let's take a look at the policies that the District of Columbia has passed that are now under threat. Ms. Weiser, DC residents can register on the same day and vote, correct? That is correct. And how long has same day registration been in place in the District of Columbia? Um, I believe it's been in place for a decade. 10 years, a decade. And in 2020, the DC General Auditor found uh, that in its audit of the 2020 election, that same day registration came with, quote, no evidence of fraud or glitches. Yet despite this, the legislation before us would eliminate same day registration. And in your testimony, you stated that eliminating same day registration after 10 years of successful use would serve no valid purpose. So, I ask you, given that the legislation here being presented by the Republican side of the aisle um, would be to eliminate it, what possible reason could we, could there be to eliminate same day registration when it's been so successful and so devoid of fraud? I can't think of any valid reason to eliminate this pro-voter reform that's working well in states across the country and has been working well in D.C. for a decade. There is no valid reason. With a common theme throughout, while the very people who to this day still fail to admit that the 2020 election was won free and fairly, even after a deadly insurrection that they helped instigate, discuss election integrity. To uphold the Constitution, that's why people go to court and they swear an oath to tell the truth. Now. They take their shocking nihilism about what's true and what's false, and they convert it to this entire Congress. And it all starts, of course, with January 6th, and before that, the presidential election. All starts with a big lie, Donald Trump's big lie. Well, they say, well, who knows? Maybe he won, maybe he didn't. You say Joe Biden's president, we say Donald Trump's president. Nonsense. Hey, Midas Mighty, love this report? Continue the conversation by following us on Instagram, at Midas Touch, to keep up with the most important news of the day. What are you waiting for? Follow us now.